came to this penguin bar so I guess the name outside is penguin no iru ba this place is located in Ikebukuro and it's just like a four minute walk from the station so it's like really easy to find and um, I'll link their website below so you can see the map and everything by the way this is what the outside looks like so it's kind of like really easy to see like it's the penguin bar and it has this giant sign outside and it's got these like flashing lights everywhere it's kind of really easy to spot the reason that i know about this penguin bar place is because i've seen it on tv a lot and they've done like segments on it before so i guess it's pretty popular we're gonna check out this bar now so let's go in okay guys we arrived at the penguin bar and the oshibori is shaped like a penguin too mm. Also, for uh, some reason, if you want to come here, you have to make a reservation before, so you can't just like show up. People have been just trying to like come in and sit down, but they're saying like, no, you need like a reservation. So I don't know if that's because it's Friday or if it's always, but just in case, I would make a reservation in advance. And they have English on their website too, so I think it's pretty easy to do. This place is called the Penguin no Iru Bar. <laughs> they translate it as the bar in which penguins are present. And it's in Ikebukuro, and I'll link everything down below so you guys can check it out. Drinks arrived. I think um, me and my friend got the stout, and then I don't know what this is. Tatsu, what did you order? Apple. Oh, this is apple wine. So basically, this place is like a regular bar but then there are like penguins over there and then I think there is a certain time of the day where you can come and you can actually feed the penguins which I want to do sometime I don't know if we can do it today because I think it's a little bit late but yeah I think you have to reserve in advance and I don't know if you need a specific course to do that um, we're here now and everything is just tamping so we just like order everything individually but I think there is one special course where you can actually feed the penguins. So maybe I can come back sometime and do that one. So here are the penguins. Cute. They have two, two penguins here and it looks like they have... Oh, there's another one. So at least three are here. Oh, he's coming over. Penguin. No? Um, lovely tomato salad that's the name of it and they got like two little penguins here I think they might be carrots and then these are all tomatoes and then they've got like some heart things here I don't know what those are made of but it looks good we also ordered we ordered from this menu this is the lovely tomato salad that we got and then um, we also ordered Tengi no iru French toast so there's like French toast with some penguins in it um, but they said that this one is gonna take an hour to get so I don't know why it takes an hour but this is like their this is their most popular menu that they've created so um, I guess this is a popular one even though it's ranked number three <laughs> and our tomato salad was fine the penguin French toast just came and they've got like penguin pancake here I think these are this is like another small pancake and then I guess this is like French toast and 
yeah, it did take like an hour for them to get, but it looks good, so we're gonna eat this now. Bye bye, penguins. Bye bye. No, no. Aww. Arigato. Thank you. I have a penguin. I'm gonna try this penguin here. So I guess he's just a pancake, right? Not. This is not French toast, it's like a pancake. It's like a dry pancake. Eh. It needs some maple syrup. <laughs> this bar is kind of all decorated with penguin stuff. They have some pictures. I think these are the penguins that are here. Oh. And then they have some signatures, I think, of some famous people that came to visit here too. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye! This left is an entrance. No. <laughs>